So today the question posed is, what is spiritual formation? And often we define it as intentional Christian practice. But Willard reminds us in his article that everyone is being formed spiritually. The question is whether it's a good one or a bad one. Well, for today's purposes, I want to focus on spiritual formation in a Christian's life. It's an intentional development of spiritual maturity. The end goal is that we become more like Christ. To do this, Willard writes that we must obey Christ. In doing so, we are allowing God to make us new. And God is the one forming us. Keith Drury writes in his book, Spiritual Disciplines for Ordinary People, When I try, I fail. When I trust, he succeeds. It requires listening to and obeying God. And over the period of time, um, we saw this can be done by practicing spiritual disciplines such as prayer, fasting, uh, solitude, confession. And these are all really good things. But the point of them all is to draw us closer to God, to begin to hear his voice, to be able to obey him. And in doing so, he forms us and makes us into new creations. And if we're going to be able to be a new creation, we must allow God to do that work in us. We begin to have new attitudes and a new mindset of that of Christ. I want to look at 1 Peter chapter 2. And Peter writes, Get rid of all evil behavior. Be done with all deceit, hypocrisy, jealousy, all unkind speech. Like newborn babies, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow into full experience of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment now that you have had a taste of the Lord's kindness. And I love this analogy. I'd be so unnatural for a baby to stay a baby all of their life. We would know that something was wrong. But how many Christians never grow in their spiritual formation? Look again at the verse it says, you will grow into full experience of salvation. This is important as we look at spiritual formation. When we have a full experience, we know God more, and we can be more effective at fulfilling his purposes. We should be compelled to share the necessity of spiritual formation with other Christians so that they too can have a closer relationship with God.